<laughs> so I see I have this snowflake. Lucky Steve at Cali Legends Media mounting under this Phoenix Sun. <laughs> Boy, you're funny. <laughs> that is just too funny how easily I got under your skin, boy. But let me address some things here for a minute. Because you were obviously spoon-fed some shit from a rat who snitched on my homie. Who set up a female for the feds and testified against her. <laughs> And he's been lying all along. But since you wanted to go there, let me speak. First, at the time that I caught that case, California hadn't put a ban on drive-bys yet, son. <laughs> so all this bull that I would have got smashed on or whatever, that's a lie. You see, because Arizona tried to follow suit when they did the ban on drive-bys out there. And I was the first person charged for what was alleged to be a drive-by, but it wasn't because I stood in the yard. <laughs> for one thing, <laughs> so all this, all this lying that you're doing here, <laughs> it's just too funny. You're trying to hype things up like, like you know what you're talking about, but you don't. Because like I said, there wasn't no ban on drive-bys in Cali at that time yet. So stop lying, fool. <laughs> now, as for my homie, he wasn't my co-defendant. He didn't get charged with me because his name got cleared. Now, you could call it what you want. This ain't nothing new. You got, you got spoon-fed some bullshit from some rat. None of this is new. I went through the system with all this. <laughs> but I see how but I see how how you're mounting though. Just all over me. All over me. But that's neither here nor there. Now as for Michael Carball, because you brought him up, I have a live in Michael's gym with Michael. Yeah, I have an interview of his nephew on on my channel as well. And I have a live with his homie Ben Cuevas sitting on the steps, walking through that neighborhood and sitting on the steps of the gym. So blah, 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 blah. But that's neither here nor there because that's not what this is about. This is about something you said. This all this projecting that you're doing, little buddy. So you say that you say that I got in your three business. No, tonto. You got in their business. You went to coat riding gunners coattail, like I said, just for the clout, just for the clicks, just for the come up. That's what you did. You injected yourself into their business and you got roasted for it. And now you're melting all over this Phoenix sun. Like I said, kid, get a grip on reality. Quit with the hyperbole. You don't need to lie to kick it, little buddy. You already got in where you fit in over there. You don't, you don't got to try to make shit up to try to, you know what I mean? Like, no, dude. You did that already. It was clear to see. That wasn't none for you to speak on, but you did. It was their business. <laughs> you react to their, you, you go and get involved in their riding gunner's coattail on some lies. And when it comes out that proven that it was lies, do you retract? No. <laughs> you mouth, dude. Homie over there in Central Cali got you mounting too, dude. Man, look at you. Man, get a grip on yourself. You're a disgrace, fool. Tomato Villa. Now, let me explain something to you. I got family there. As a matter of fact, my primo was born here in the 30s. 
in Golden Gate and was and was put on a box cart to Boyle Heights. And he and he was raising the loyal soto, tonto. Now, you you talk about Maravilla is known because of YouTube. That's why it's known. You act, you act like you know it is something like people all would know they didn't. People know because of YouTube, but you you're a disgrace to all that. Because you're sitting there writing coattails of gunners for the come up. And it's obvious. Everybody sees it. And this is how you react. Snowflake, this is really how you react. <laughs> you're funny, dude. You, <laughs> I got so far under your skin. How does it feel, little buddy? How does it feel having me under your skin? I'm all that. Huh? Ask yourself that. But don't sit there and be in denial of the facts and act as if, act as if that was your business that you got involved in. No, it wasn't. You sat there, you made a video sucking Gunner's nuts without knowing the whole truth. So most of the shit was fictitious. You were speaking on something that had nothing to do with you either. Trying to ride coattails, like I said, so you can come up. Bro, you're a lame. You're a straight lame, dude. <laughs> and you and you think you're doing something? Two-Face, huh? <laughs> nah, I call a spade a spade. It just is what it is. And I can see I got under your skin by doing that, didn't I? <laughs> you might want to stop while you're behind, fool. <laughs> you're far, far behind, dude. You can tell oh, they got the like of your brains fried, buddy. It really is. It really, really is. You're a disgrace, dude. Just accept that. You keep, you keep, you keep getting, you keep getting fucking spoon fed shit by a bunch of fucking, by a bunch of fucking people known a rat. And look at you. <laughs> ah, you want to call me all that? Like, like what you were saying was new. Like, like I didn't know where it came from. <laughs> ah. Shit, bro, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. But this is funny. I'm calling all up under your skin, huh? Does it feel good? Scratching that itch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop lying, dude. Seriously, stop lying. Stop making shit up. That's the problem with some of you fools out there. Always exaggerating, dude. Always believing the hype and running with it. Not even knowing any better. But it's all good. I see <laughs> I see how I got you mounted under this Phoenix sun, little boy. You're gonna be alright. Take that needle out your arm. Clean it clean your shit up. Get your shit together, man. Quit quit riding coattails on here, man. You were doing fine without all that. You didn't need to do that. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, man. It's been a long day. It's been a long, long day. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it with this. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>